sunny evening. Well, it's after four o'clock. <laughs> oh, goody. Horse and buggy, horse and buggy. Get stuck behind them, all the tiny. How's everybody doing tonight? I know I'm actually doing an evening video in my car. Well, not evening per se. It's only four o'clock, but I just left work. I need to get up over this hill so I can get around this horse and buggy. Because I'm not stupid like some fucking people who decide it's alright to go around a horse and buggy going up a hill when you can't see what's coming. Yeah, this morning on my way to work, idiot almost got plowed over by a fucking van. Look at that, there we go. Plenty of fucking time and room. Alright guys, so what is up? What is going on? How's everybody doing? You guys enjoying your fucking December? The summer's almost fucking over. Holy shit. Christmas is on Sunday. What is going on? Where did December go? Soon, we're going to be in 2017, and then it'll be my birthday, and oh my god, I'm going to be 32. Anyways, we're not here to talk about my age. So, something happened couple weeks ago, um, I got a friend request on Facebook. Not uncommon, and random people will friend request me. They could be friends with other friends that I'm friends with. Um, but this was no ordinary friend request. <laughs> oh, God, kill me. This request was from my ex-boyfriend. You know, the ex-boyfriend who I've bitched about consistently in several of my videos. Oh, God, I love the lighting right now. This is beautiful on my face. Um, yes, the ex-boyfriend who I told you guys about, who dumped me on MySpace the day before Thanksgiving in 2008. This guy is just trying... Santa! Oh, my God! Come back with my Tom Hiddleston! That guy in the van, big-ass white beard looked like Santa Claus. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. I got distracted. But yes, the man who dumped me eight years ago, actually about nine years ago, maybe ten years ago. Shit! Wait, I gotta count. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's still only eight years? No, that's not right. Well, soon to be nine years. Um, yeah, he decided he was gonna friend request me. And when I saw who it was, my stomach just went and my heart like dropped. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? For real though, what? All right, so I went into instant Facebook stalker mode. Okay, I went on trying to stalk his Facebook page. I'm not gonna lie, I will do. I will do that. Um. Another idiot thing to do is to go around horse and buggy coming around the turn. Fucking idiots today. Anyways. Um, went into instant uh, stalker mode on Facebook. Trying to stalk his Facebook page. He had it set to private. I can only see a few things. So, I accepted the friend request. <laughs> and I sent him a message. Said, so, mind telling me why you decide after eight years to fucking contact me? Well, not sure what kind of answer I was expecting, but the answer I got was, I don't know, I wanted to see how you were doing. That's it. That's why you requested to be friends with me on Facebook? You wanted to see how I was doing after eight fucking years. Alrighty. Sorry, I thought this guy was moving. I guess not. But I'll let you in anyways. Um, like, okay. And I don't know if he expected a different response from me. But because he seriously asked. He's like, how are you doing? I'm like, personally in my head I'm thinking, oh, fucking wonderful, man. You know, greatest life, man. I couldn't be fucking better. <laughs> That's a load of fucking shit. But the weird thing was, I was at work, and we ended up having a fucking conversation for an hour. Via Facebook, but we talked for a fucking hour. 
And of course, my first question to him was, are you still with your wife? And he's not. So part of me is just like, oh, you know, I'm really sorry about it. The part is like, he's single. But you, you know, <laughs> problem with all thoughts, all thoughts of like maybe rekindling kind of flew out the door when he posted a new picture of himself. I, I don't have a thing against beards, guys. Guys, I like beards. They're nice. If, if they're nicely fucking done. But if it's down to fucking here, if it's down touching your pecs, I have an issue. It's just, it's, I, I can't do the lumberjack look, man. I just can't. And he goes to the fucking, fucking he goes to the same gym I go to. Went to. I don't go to that gym anymore because I canceled my membership. Not because I found out he goes there. Partially because I found out he goes there, but mainly because I don't fucking go to the gym. I haven't been there in like five goddamn months. So I saw no purpose in wasting $10 a month. But I'm having so many goddamn mixed feelings right now. It's ridiculous. And this truck in front of me obviously does not know how to drive. But so many goddamn mixed feelings. It, oh god, it fucking sucks. I have an inch. And I'm so fucking... You know, it's Christmas time and aside from... You know, it's supposed to be the happiest fucking time of the season. <laughs> Bullshit. Oh yeah, yeah. Christmas! Totally the happiest time of the season. The fucking day after Thanksgiving where you fucktards should be thankful for what the fuck you have. But you go out the hours after you've just eaten a Thanksgiving meal. To go and fight other people for sales. For good fucking sales. So fuck you! I value my goddamn life. I don't do that shit. I just go to the toy store and drop about five hundred dollars in two trips. I didn't do it in one trip. I don't, I'm getting ahead of myself. But it's the holidays. I'm already stressed out about spending money, about trying to finish two projects I have not fucking finished for my aunt and my god damn sister-in-law. God damn sister. I love my sister-in-law. What am I doing? <laughs> She's words are just coming out of my mouth today. Sorry, we had to stand out in the cold and try to jumpstart my co-worker's car. How many spa tags does it take to jumpstart a fucking car? Four and then one innkeeper. Anyways, again, off fucking topic here. Like I said, stressed out from the holidays and I always get a little tiny depressed around this time. And it makes it fucking worse as everybody I know is fucking dating. Or seeing someone or going on fucking dates. I'm like, I've been single since 2008. I haven't gone to any fucking dates. One time. I went on one kind of date that wasn't even really a date. It was more like just a meetup and we spent an hour and a half sitting in Dunkin' Donuts talking. That was it. And then, pff, motherfucker, apologize for kissing me on the cheek. I, it was okay. I didn't fucking mind it. But when you sent me pictures of your shaved, your manscaped lower regions, granted, it was covered up with a towel. Or a blanket or some shit. I kind of draw the line there. So, it's so depressing that I'm single. But I don't really want to put the fucking effort into finding somebody. Because every time I get on fucking POF or OKCupid or whatever goddamn dating site is probably going to sue me for using their name, I find nothing but assholes! Do you want to see my dick? No, I don't want to see your dick. Can you send me some tit pics? No, you do not need to see my tits. I will not lie. I may have participated in pictures like that in the past. But I will not do it again. It's a regrettable thing I did and I will not do it again. Why? Because fucking reasons, man. I'm so 
fucking sick of getting on dating sites and finding the fucking assholes. I want a nice fucking guy. Preferably with tattoos. I would have preferred Tom Hiddleston wrapped in a bow under my Christmas tree this year. Fuck, I don't even have a Christmas tree up. <laughs> my family's fucking weird. Religion, holidays, and my family just don't fucking coincide with each other. And New Year's Eve is coming up. What the fuck do I have planned? Nothing. I have to work, for one. Which, thankfully, I'm only working to 4 o'clock. And thankfully, New Year's Eve's on a fucking Saturday. Which means I can drink and not feel fucking hungover or guilty about it the next goddamn day. I have to go buy a new bottle of whiskey for my dad. Because <laughs> I pretty much drank all of his whiskey. Um... a lot of people have had the same issue, but I have never, never, I've never been kissed on New Year's Eve, and I think it would be nice just to bring in a New Year's and, and get a little kiss, or a full makeout session, I don't care, either one. But I don't have anyone to do that with. With my luck, I'm going to go home New Year's Eve and just sit on my ass and drink a bottle of champagne by myself or a bottle of wine. That's what's gonna happen. So like I said, so many mixed feelings right now about the ex. I talked to him for an hour, and it's just like, God damn it. And he's been posting fucking videos of himself playing guitar. Like, really? I knew you played guitar. Wait, are you playing for me? I'm really fucking so, like, strung up for a date, I'm really tempted to fucking ask him out. I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. You guys need to, in the comment section, tell me if you think that I should grow a pair and ask the ex-boyfriend out. Granted, I don't really know if I want to leave it up to you fucking people, but you're my loyal subscribers, loyal followers, so... I think it would be fabulous if you guys would give me some advice. Um, I don't want any fucking stupid ass advice, which I've gotten over the years. Great, life turns green, and I'm still trying to get my fucking hat back on. Um, but yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll leave it up to you guys in the comment section. Yay or nay, if I should ask out the ex boyfriend. Maybe find. A party New Year's Eve to celebrate or something. So let me go. So let me know. I will tally up the votes and let you guys know what happens. Santa Claus again? That's two in one day. I'm sorry. I'm depressed. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Actually, I'm not really hungry. Yeah, I am kind of hungry. I'm thirsty. I need to finish my two gifts for my sister-in-law. And my aunt and God forbid, fucking Kelly, man, I'm done with this. I'm just so done with this year. 2016 is almost fucking over, and I have been done with it since I fucking started. All right. So I think that is all for today or this evening. Um, I've ranted and I've bitched about my awkward feelings for the ex-boyfriend who is single which I think he's single I didn't exactly ask him if he was seeing one I just asked him if he was still with his wife and he said no so yeah I'm gonna end this video here because I need to put my phone back on the charger Anyhow, alright guys, that is all for this evening. Um, like I said, comment in the comment section below, yay or nay, if I should ask out the ex. Granted, whatever you say, I may or may not do it at all. You, there could be like 400 yeses. I still probably won't do it. I have trouble asking guys out online. I don't know if I can actually ask out my ex-boyfriend. I don't know if I can handle the fucking beard. 
There's just there's too much goddamn beard there, man. Too much beard. I like a little scruff. You were kind of cute. Um, I don't like the lumberjack look or the caveman thing. I don't know what the top of his head looks like. I hope he still has hair. Because if he didn't have hair, that's kind of a no-go. All of his pictures, he's wearing a hat or a bandana. When I dated him, he had a nice fucking head of hair. Okay, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. Alright guys, like I said, comment below, yay or nay. Um, I'll let you know what I decide to do. Um, but yeah, that's all for this video. So, you guys know the drill. Rate, comment, subscribe. Do whatever needs to be fucking done. Oh my god, so many goddamn cars. Turn. Alright guys, that is all. I will see you later on the flip side. I just said later on the flip side? Yep. I'm so done with this day. Alright guys, peace out later days.